Hello everybody. Yesterday I wanted to make some unit tests in Godot and uh, I wasn't sure if there is a library available and how all of this works. So I was researching a bit and I found a library which is called GUT and I had some problems to set up all the test environment and so on. So I wanted to make a short tutorial video how to use it and what it's all about. So first if you are in your project just start with the asset lib and just search for GUT. As you can see this is the GUT tool. You just click it and then install it. After that is done you go into your project settings and you set in plugins the plugin to active. If you have done this you can just create a new scene and in the tree you can just add an element which is called GUT. Now this is your test environment where you have in the tree inspector here a lot of variables you can set on. Yeah, the most interesting parts are run and load. If this is checked uh, the tests are automatically executed as soon as you start this scene. And another thing we should set up is our test directory where GUT is finding our tests. For this case I created a folder in my project which is called test. In the test folder I have this scene, this one is saved here. Then I have a folder for my unit test where just my test script is in there. So all I do here in the tree inspector is I change the directory to the unit test and click open. So now is my directory set to my unit test. There is also another important setting which is called the test prefix. So if you have the test prefix set to test underscore, of course all your test files need to be called test underscore and then whatever you want. And last but not least we of course have to write our tests. So I already have some tests written yesterday so I will show you shortly. You always have in your script to extend the add-ons got test gd and then you can write your test methods as you maybe know from other programming language or other frameworks. For us it's pretty simple we have the asset equal we have an as a true method where you can check if something is true. With equal we can of course test something if it's equal. And also if you want to have some debug logging you can just use gut print and then you can put some text where you want it to have. Of course the cool thing about this is if you set your breakpoints in the test you also can use them and uh, check and debugging if everything is working fine. After this initial setup is done, we just can now uh, run our scene and if the scene is running, we get our test summary. So here you can see we have the run summary with one script, three tests and four of them are passing. So we have everything fine and for more information about GUT, you should definitely visit GitHub and see the instructions and all the stuff they written down here. And they also have a cool wiki where you can see how to test, how to install, how to create tests and what else for advanced testing features are available and everything you should know. Yeah, this is how we set up unit testing in Godot. So happy testing!